most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. Heading into the weekend, cloud cover is going to be around. Cooler air is going to be around. And for some, it's going to be a little bit of a wet weekend, especially down near the coast where rain chances decently high both Saturday and Sunday, while other spots further to the north may just see rain mainly on Sunday. Over the next couple of days, we'll be watching rain closely. We need rain, but right now this event for most of us still doesn't look like something that's really going to help us out in the dry conditions that continue to develop. But a steady stream of showers expected really from sunrise to sunset, maybe even through the overnight hours a little bit as we head through the weekend. Rain this evening, very, very light. Rain tomorrow, a little more widespread, but still very, very light. It's Sunday that we start to see the rain really try to increase, and it really depends on how much moisture creeps up the coast because it's going to be a very fine line between maybe a half inch or more of rain to maybe not even a quarter of an inch. As you can see, a couple of counties expected to see a little bit heavier rain and maybe overdoing it a little bit. One to two, still probably a little bit of an outlier, maybe best case scenario for those that really need the rain to help with the dry conditions. Most of us probably staying below a half inch and even most of us probably staying below a quarter of an inch unless things change. Cloud cover continues to stream in. Very overcast, a little damp too. Mist, drizzle, and even a few heavier showers that have developed across ENC continue to pass through Bath. Bellhaven, just some mist and sprinkles. Same thing for Chocolatey in Washington. Southern Pitt County, a little bit more damp than northern Pitt County as we continue to see conditions stay a little bit more on the wet side and a little stream and maybe a heavier pocket of rain falling from Calypso to Goldsboro, Snow Hill, trying to push into Lenore County over towards Kinston, but overall things continue to stay very, very light, and this, rain, this line of rain continues to kind of fall apart as it pushes off to the east. Heaviest rain still down near the Gulf, but that rain is headed our way. The moisture, too, with it. And as we head into tomorrow, see that steady stream of light showers south of Greenville, more towards the Crystal Coast, and maybe a break through most of the overnight, but that rain really starts to increase by Sunday morning, so church could be a little wet as you start your Sunday, and then things start to clear as we head later into the afternoon and evening, but probably by 6 o'clock, I think, most of us will be done with the rain. After the rain clears, temperatures stay in the 60s. Cloud cover may build in for most of the week. Not much rain expected, but that may keep temperatures more towards 60 degrees. We're at 60 in Beaufort and Jacksonville, 48 already in Roanoke Rapids, and that northeast wind making it feel a little bit cooler than maybe the temperatures show as we head through the overnight hours. Most of us end up at least close to the 40s or in the 40s, but still could be maybe some mid 50s down near the coast. Eight day forecast showing these rain chances pass by. We get a break, maybe some frost Monday, Tuesday morning, depending on winds and cloud cover and another storm system arriving late next week.